Long ago and far away, there lived a great teacher. He wasn't a great teacher because of who he taught or where he taught. He was a great teacher because of his simple message. He believed that what was important about religion was that we love our God with our hearts, our whole hearts, our whole selves. And he also taught that the important thing in life was how we treat each other. And that really what it all came down to was that we should treat other people the way we wish to be treated. Now, as he traveled through the land and shared his stories and taught these simple lessons, people began to follow his teachings. They began to follow him. They were called his disciples or the apostles. They'd go from town to town, sharing the message of love and acceptance, not just with princes and with kings, but with regular people with people who had no homes, and with people who were sick. And this great teacher was named Jesus, and he was from the town of Nazareth in the land of Judea. The big important holiday for Jesus and his disciples was Passover. And they decided that they would like to go to Jerusalem, the big city, to celebrate Passover. Now, they didn't have trains or cars back then, but even if they had had trains and cars, Jesus and his followers wouldn't have been able to afford them. They were poor. They lived very, very simply. So they walked all the way to Jerusalem. Now, I'm sure that Jesus knew that if he went to Jerusalem, he would be in trouble. He would have to be fierce and brave and have big amounts of courage because the people had begun calling him their king. And of course, people in power wouldn't be happy about a new king. So Jesus and his followers walked and walked to Jerusalem. And finally, Jesus was so tired from all the preaching that he decided to send his disciples to get a donkey so that he could ride into the city. A donkey was a symbol of peace. A horse would have been a symbol of war. But Jesus rode in on a donkey. Of course, people heard that Jesus, the great teacher, was coming. And they called from one to another, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming. And they began to line the streets. And they were so excited, they brought flowers and they brought palm fronds. Because palm fronds were a symbol of victory, a symbol of triumph. So here was Jesus riding into town, knowing that he'd be facing some challenges that it would be very dangerous. But also knowing that the people felt that it was a victory, that love was winning over oppression, that the teaching that everybody was worthy was more important than staying away. So Jesus came into town and he was welcomed with palm fronds and with flowers and with cheers and with celebration. Of course, we know how the story ended. It's not a happy ending. But for Jesus, facing, facing the challenges, facing the fear, was worth everything. Living in love, having the courage to do what he believed was right, was worth it.